We are starting a driving exam in March 2023 on a very nice sunny day from Bad Soden am Taunus Esso gas station to Hofheim am Taunus TÜV service center. We are leaving the private property to the right side and first of all the examiner wanted to go directly to the highway. Before we started driving the examiner asked the students three questions like always and question number one was Was ist das für eine rote Kontrollleuchte? What's the meaning of the red control light? And he there was only one red control light it was a circle with a red P inside and that's the control light for the handbrake and that's what the student answered Feststellbremse Handbremse and before we start driving we need to release of course the second question was where is the horn wo ist die Hupe and it's in the center of the steering wheel. And the third question was, what's the minimum tread of your wheels? And the answer was 1.6 millimeters. In German, the question is, wie hoch ist die Mindestprofiltiefe an Ihrem Reifen? 1,6 millimeter. So we are driving the Königsteiner Street in Bad Soden. Uh, we cannot go with 50, it's stuck traffic a little bit. I think that's the reason why the examiner wanted to go direct way to Hofheim where we finish the exam later. The pedestrian pressed the button and because it's just a pedestrian traffic light it's not regulating the intersection it turns red for us immediately after the pedestrians press the button but you see it's not for a long time red light then we can go on driving but you see it's slowly that's good for for your exam because the time is running but you don't have to do a lot of <clears throat> you don't have to do a lot of things we just have to watch out if there are many bicycles on the road because then we need the minimum distance to overtake of one and a half meters inside the city and two meters outside the city <clears throat> now we are coming to the last traffic light inside the city of Bad Soden. Fortunately, it shows green, and we don't need to stop here. <clears throat> On the left side, you see the yellow sign now we are outside the city but they don't want us to drive 100 they put a 60 sign the student remembered uh, that by law we have to take the right of two lanes if we are driving outside the city and don't forget it's not just a um, a highway rule it's a general rule outside the city and if you have more than one lane you are not allowed to drive permanently in the left of the lanes. We are again in the automatic car. He did the same thing like in exam number 13 he did his manual shift proof with the 10 lessons and the 15 minutes exam it's called b197 
because the right lane will end we need to change to the left side it's not visible because of the two trucks but the examiner told the student that he should change the lane to the left side <clears throat> now we can expect that the truck is also coming there he comes okay here are the signs then you see the lines on the ground and construction so we have the speed limit of 50 right now and from 50 it's going down to 30 because it's so narrow and you really have to concentrate that you are not following the white lines otherwise you crash into the little barrier on the right side On the right side you see the buildings that the shopping mall Main Town Center. Lots of shops. And we are out of the construction. Yellow line is over now. And then we are back to 100. And here you can see the sign of 70 on the left side. That means 70 is the limit. Please go to Wiesbaden Highway. Bitte fahren Sie Richtung Autobahn Wiesbaden. Speeding signs on the right side 50. And many, many cars are changing from center to left or from center to right, from right to left to center, uh, wherever. It's very dangerous here. That's why 50 is a good option. In front of us, you can see the bridge already and the cars driving to the right side. You can see the... Uh, cars are not so fast it's a little bit stuck traffic and then let's celebrate the highway entrance indicate left and when you are parallel accelerate hard Checking what's up in the rightest lane of the highway. Check your mirror and blind spot and move. But don't be faster than the uh, cars on the right side and don't be slower than the cars on the right side. That's the challenge. You have to have the perfect same speed like they do. Not driving next to each other because then a change to the left side is impossible. So you have to drive in the spots between the cars with exactly the same speed and then changing the lane. There was no speed limit, same thing. You um, should show the examiner that it's not 100 the speed limit. Like on a country road, you should clearly show him that you are able to drive a little bit faster. The recommended speed is 130. So if you go 120, 130, it's perfect. If there is a slower car or a truck in front of you, start overtaking. Look what we are doing right now. Nobody told this student uh, to overtake. He did it just on his own. Because I always teach um, that they dri should drive normally, like in the lessons. If there's someone slower, start overtaking. Nobody needs to tell you that we want to overtake. And then we wanted to take the next exit, Frankfurt Zeilsheim. Fahren Sie bitte die nächste Ausfahrt raus. Which means exits are always on the right side. We need to change back to the right side. Perfectly done. Because if you now keep overtaking, you're still in the center lane and, and then you miss the exit probably. Here's the 500 meter sign. Nothing happens. We start indicating at 300 meter sign. Indicator right from now then we have the 200 meter sign keep the speed over 100 blind spot change early all four wheels in breaking down to 50 to 60 which is always a good speed probably we can drive with uh, 60 here because it's not a wet ground bitte rechts abbiegen please turn right 
indicator right side stay clearly in the right lane now you see the traffic lights only with two colors for us but it's off so we keep going looking forward and we have an acceleration lane again but only on a country road indicate left mirror blind spot change and using a lot of the space now we are on the country road there was no sign so right now it's 100 and here's the sign it says 80 wow what a clear sky The distance from the black and white poles on the right side, if they have the normal distance, not if there is an uh, exit to the agricultural way, is 50 meters. And if you should keep half of your speed in meters, so if you drive 80, you need 40 meters on a dry road, you can measure with the, with the poles if your distance is okay if you always keep one pole you have 50 meters that is possible then and it's valid up to a speed of 100. bitte rechts abbiegen please turn right going into the lane with a full speed then breaking down to our normal turning speed which is around 20. green traffic light no giveaway sign active it's just for the case that the traffic light is switched off and we have a nice turn to the right side. Now we enter the city of Hofheim. Maximum speed is 50. And here's only left and right possible and the priority street is turning to the left side. Bitte folgen Sie der Vorfahrtsstraße. Please follow the priority road, which is left. If you turn right, you come to the TÜV service center. But it's too early right now. BMW dealer on the right side, financial uh, office on the left side. Bitte geradeaus weiter. Please go on straight. And I remember an exam which was only for three or four minutes starting in Hofheim and uh, causing trouble directly here on this sign after three minutes. I sent you a link to this video to the shortest, uh, shortest um, exam in 2022. Now we turned right. We had a little bit of city. We had country road, we had highway, but we did not do the normal uh, exercises. Please stop at the black Mercedes and park reverse right. Bitte halten Sie neben dem schwarzen Mercedes und parken rückwärts rechts ein. So we stop near the car, reverse gear in, checking around left side, front side and start driving slowly. Front is going to the left side, but no car is parked on the left side because of the private property where the blue and the white car are parked. Well, it was a little bit far away, so a little correction to the right side, curbstone side and to adjust because the front is going away from the curbstone we have to do it to the other direction until we are parallel and if we are parallel we can drive straight forward to the number plate of the black car but the examiner said it's all right. We don't need to go forward. We can keep going our exam. Exercise number one done. Both sides parked cars 
we barely can keep one meter side distance that's why we are driving slowly right before left lines on the ground checking the right side no one coming and going on Bitte geradeaus weiterfahren. Please go on straight. It's a dead end and generally if you see dead end signs you can ask if we go in or you can just avoid the dead end. Bitte wenden Sie. Please turn around. Lots of space here. Reverse right, close to the other cars, and then we have a good situation to move out of this dead end. Exercise number two done. Rechts abbiegen, please turn right. Follow your right curbstone, calculate with parked cars and oncoming traffic from the right side. Nobody. Then we can pass. Now the emergency brake exercise is missing, so we have to do it in a, in a street where we have some space. And of course, if nobody is behind us. So please accelerate the car up to 30 and if I say stop, do the emergency brake. Go, 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 go and stop! Oh, perfectly done. And now how to go on? Mirror, indicator, blind spot, check around and drive. Perfect! Exercise number three, done. So now we have city driving, highway driving, country road, three exercises. Right before left area, 30 zone. Sure. Generally, we have everything we need. And we are already in Hofheim. Then we just fill up the minimum time needed for driving and then we go back to the TÜV service center to finish all the documents and handing out the license. If nothing goes wrong in the last kilometers and in the last minutes. Bitte rechts abbiegen, please turn right. Following the curbstone on the right side, be prepared that the car is coming out of it not out of the curbstone, out of the right street, of course. Yes, both sides cars are parked, so don't drive too fast here. And turn right, please. Give way sign, which means we are driving on a priority road behind the truck. Go a little bit to the right side, follow your curbstone again, check, and we are out. Out of the 30 zone, which means 50 is the speed limit. Priority sign on the right side, so we keep going. Very wide street, so even if cars are parked and oncoming traffic uh, is appearing from front, no problem to go on. Your left wheels are close to the center line and that's all our area to use. Green traffic light, which is nice to have. Just overdrive and enjoy. Nächste Straße rechts.
15 to 20 is the turning speed parked car and is someone coming ah not today here on the right side of the building is the main Taunuskreis traffic office the authorities and on the right side the last building the blue white building is the TÜV service center please turn right into the private property check pedestrians no one there no out driving traffic he's waiting and then go to the end and park your car near the fence but do not drive into the fence And this was another fast driving exam. Congratulations.